Hi everybody, PJ Kwong from CBC Sports here with Executive Director of the BC Section, Ted Barton. Okay, Ted, I've been talking to coaches Megan Wing and Aaron Lowe, uh, Olympians and proud representatives of the BC Section in their amateur skating days. Um, I want to know how many ice dance teams are here. Well, we have, Canadians. Well, we have eight dance teams here. We had uh, four novice, two uh, junior, and two senior teams. And included in the junior teams, um, uh, junior champions. Yeah, they were. Um, they've skated well all year. They have won two uh, bronze medals on the junior grand prix circuit. Uh, outstanding team. Uh, they've grown up. Uh, they, I think, they won pre-novice and novice, and now they're junior. Uh, won uh, um, now have won the junior title, um, and will I think be moving up to senior obviously next year. So they've got a great career. Do you want to give us their names? Xiao Kai Peng and Madeline Edwards. Wonderful. Okay, so I want to know. Um, when I spoke with Megan and Aaron, they said that they had no real plans to come back to coach. They both have master's degrees um, and it was really not on their radar. So how did you lure them back into coaching? Well, it was an interesting, you know, I mean, they went to university to, you know, to prepare themselves for the rest of their lives following their career. But they had said to us when they were 15 years, maybe 14, 15 years old, they said, well, we promised to come back to BC and, and, and open up our own school because then we didn't have any dance training. So they were training in Quebec and then they moved to the United States. So when they told us they wanted, that was their vision, that was a goal, we said, oh, Okay, cool. You know, thinking like, yeah, whatever. Uh, but as they started to get a little closer, they were more serious about it. When they moved out to BC, I actually hired Aaron in my office to be the technical director. And so he worked for, I was very polite, but he hated it. He hated being in the office. And when he saw our office overlooks the rink, when he saw the kids preparing, he said, that's where my heart is. That's where I want to be. I'm still competitive. I can't physically do it, but I can be competitive by coaching. And um, the, the story has been unbelievable since then. They themselves as skaters, of course they were good because they went to the Olympics. But were they the most talented? No, but they were the hardest workers. In, Absolutely. In, in my experience, uh, those skaters that had the toughest time and had to work the hardest are the best coaches. I think that you're absolutely right. Now, what do you think that BC has to offer ice dancers? Well, we have an environment. Um, I think that, you know, Megan and Aaron's school is, it's not just about the end product, it's how they get to that end product. Every when the kids come to the rink in the morning, there is a routine which they do every single day and they know when they're going to do their first part of the program, second part of the program. They work as, uh, and they keep pushing themselves. It's, it's, I love going on the balcony to watch them because to watch a session unfold on itself, you say it's brilliant. It's brilliant. The session itself does the training. I mean, yes, of course, there's teaching and all that, but how they train does most of the preparation and most of the teaching even so. So it, it, they've got a brilliant program going. Um, they've got a great environment. They're honest and open with the kids. Uh, we've got all the services from um, counseling uh, to making sure the kids are still in school. Um, it's a full meal deal. It's, it really is. And, and of course, Megan, and it, led by them, it's outstanding. Do you see um, Ice Dance as becoming one of, uh, or BC becoming one of the strongholds of Ice Dance in the future? Well, I would say that they, it is now. Ah, uh, good I for mean, you. Maybe I'm being, I don't mean to be uh, too aggressive with that, but I mean, look, first, second, third and novice, uh, first and third and junior, currently sitting fourth and senior, I think that's Pretty somewhat impressive. speaks for itself. Yeah, I think so too. Thanks so much for talking to me, Ted Barton. Thank you.